and we're back with World of Tanks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's an like I want to inform everyone. It's a multiplayer game where you battle it out with tanks. Depending on how well you do, you advance through the level of tiers and so on. Last time I wasn't a very informative, but I'm not going to be informative anyways. If you want to play it, go on the wait. I mean, go to the website link below and learn from yourself because it's kind of of a game where you have to learn yourself. Before when I joined, you learned yourself anyways. And now they have tutorials or somewhat tutorials. But either way, it's like Minecraft. You don't know what you're doing until you start playing. So back again with the Sherman E E8 because the name is so long. Sherman M4 AE E8. I mean 83 E8. That's why they call it the Easy 8. Fastest Sherman, least armored heavy gun. The other heart, the heavier version is the M4A3E2, called the Jumbo Sherman, which have heavier armor, which thick as a tiger, but slower, 35 kilometers per second. I mean hour. The and the Sherman E8, Easy 8, is 48 kilometers an hour. Both have the same gun. But the Jumbo Sherman has more armor. In general, if you want armor and firepower, you go with the E2 Jumbo Sherman. If you want speed and firepower, you go with the E8. I am mixed when it comes to, I guess in general, I am mixed about what tanks I want. Sometimes I want firepower and speed, and sometimes I want armor and firepower. When it comes to that, it would be the heavy tanks because they're meant for the main assault and they're supposed to take the damage as for medium tanks we can take the damage not recommended but we can we also can deliver firepower to flank the opponents you hit the sides basically or the rear that is the job of medium tanks but in general people don't really follow this kind of stuff and when I and half the time it doesn't work out because people are too afraid to get their tanks hurt. I know it's so sad. You can shoot it, but it doesn't have a damage script. What? Oh, okay. I know what he's talking about. Ooh, the Type 59 is also a bitch tank to fight. The armor and the front is always hard to penetrate with this gun. So is the side sometimes, but I can deal with it. Oh, you son of a bitch got me on fire. Oh gosh. Ah, oh, screw it. I'm not gonna even use the hy fire hydrant. Fire hose, whatever. Fire extinguisher. Bitch. Suck it! God, the bastard who set me on fire. I think it was him. Oh! It was IS-3 who sh shot the final hit. I, I, I did it. Who hit, who hit me for the last shot. Damn bastard. <laughs> Jesus. The Sherman can be very helpful, but at the same time, it can be very weak, depending on how it's played. And that, my friends, subscribers, people, saplings, so and so, is a perfect example on how weak the Sherman can be. Because for a tier 6 with a 76mm gun, it's relatively weak. In my opinion, the gun you want the one is the one that gives the penetration power. The stronger penetration is, the more likely you can hit your t enemy, because it doesn't. Even if it's a splash damage, like HE rounds. If you're wondering what is the HE round, high explosive, SPGs use those the most because that's their main thing. If it can hit your opponent and blast them, but if it doesn't penetration, pre there's no penetration. There's no great effectiveness. So you want penetration power, which hits the tank. 
and the more more often you can penetrate, the more often their HP will go down. HE rounds can penetrate, but you'll be lucky enough to if you do. You hit the rear for that. And if you do, you can do massive damage with HE rounds. It's pretty effective when it comes to it. And here is my T25 AT anti tank, a TD in the American tree line for fixed turrets. This is a fixed turret. That M18 you see right there is a rotating turret. Fixed turrets um, have a poor advantage when it comes to fighting direct combat because you have to rotate your tank in order to set the gun. Because the gun has a small arc of degree where you can turn it. So it's good for long range. But when it comes to close combat, like me, close combat person, it's not very effective. Because rotating turrets have the better advantage. So what I'm going to do, which people are going to hate me for maybe, is going to camp it out around here. Because tanks usually come over this hill to attack. Probably not the best position because whatever the arty, the arty SPG is located can really hurt me badly. And like I said, these games usually last to five minutes tops to fifteen minutes. The fastest game I seen was around three minutes because everyone was just playing stupid. <clears throat> By stupid, I mean they just charged and died. It's really sad. Uh, maybe I can do something from here. Can I? Not really. Oh. Oh, I, and I missed that shot. I am a stupid idiot. Okay, some T4. Oh, she sees me. No. Fire. Retreat. That is my disadvantage with this tank. I cannot... Oh shoot, he sees me too. That was pointless. Um, this when you're tur turning the gun, I mean the body just to escape, your gun goes along with the body. Gosh dang it, we need more people in the north. Oh no, he sees me. Oh shoot, he shot me. I'm not gonna live, guys. And I hit him once. Come on. Run. Oh, wait. My driver's gone. Ugh. That was terrible. What affects this tank the most is the driver. Because since it relies the whole body to move, you need the driver to traverse the tank fast. And without that, you're screwed. There's a lot to this game. It's pretty awesome. So... Feel free to subscribe, leave a like, comment, whatever you want. I could care less. P check out the game, don't check out the game. It's your choice. Good luck and have fun. See you guys next time. My name is Lee Fly. Peace out.